If you're looking for financial education resources that you can use at home with your child, then you've come to the right place. NextGen Personal Finance is a nonprofit organization that creates free resources for teachers to teach students personal finance at the high school and middle school level. But in this series of videos, we're going to be sharing how you as a parent can adapt these resources at home and complete these activities with your child. In this video, we're going to be looking at an activity called Play the Bean Game, which is meant to help students understand and practice basic budgeting. To access this activity, head on over to ngpf.org. Then click on the resources tab and select activities. Scroll down on the activities page and select the unit called budgeting. You'll see that the very first activity on this page is play the bean game. Select view Google doc to open up this activity. If you have a printer at home, this is the perfect time to pause and press print. Doing this activity in a hands-on way with a printed copy of the bean map is going to be the most fun for students because it's tactile. For this activity, your child will need to gather 20 dry beans. You could also use seeds or if there are no nut allergies in your home, another alternative could be peanuts or almonds. If you don't have a printer in your home, then select the prompt in the blue box that says click here for the virtual bean map instead. By clicking on that link, you'll open up a spreadsheet that will allow you to play the bean game digitally. For the remainder of this video, we'll be looking at the virtual bean map. But as a heads up, it's exactly the same as the principal bean map. You and your child will only need to edit the yellow cells in this activity. In order to do this activity, you'll want to make sure that you go through the budget and decide how many beans you want to allocate to each particular budgetary category. So for example, if I wanted to live with relatives and share the cost of utilities under the housing option, I can see that the choice would require two beans. So in the yellow cell next to living with relatives sharing cost of utilities, I would type in the capital letter O two times. As you could probably tell, this activity is a lot more fun when it's tactile, using actual beans or seeds at home. But if you don't have those materials available or you're not able to print the bean map at home, this digital version will do because it allows you to use the capital letter O to represent a bean or a seed. To complete this activity, work your way down the map, deciding how many beans you want to allocate to each spending category in your budget. But remember, you only get 20 beans to complete this activity. So you've got to make sure that you're making your decisions carefully. Along the bottom of the spreadsheet, you'll notice that there are multiple tabs with different group numbers. This is because teachers usually put students in small groups to complete this activity together. But in your home, you'll only need one of the group tabs to complete this activity. As a parent, you can complete this activity in one of the tabs and have your child complete the activity in another tab. Then together, you can compare and contrast the decisions that you each made with your beans and why you allocated the beans the way that you did in your individual budgets. To help you guide this conversation along, NGPF has provided discussion questions on pages three and four of this activity. For parents who are working with multiple children in their home, you can either assign each child their own tab to complete, or you can have two children or three children work together to complete one budget as a group. This document on the NGPF website is a template, so you won't be able to type into it or make any changes. First thing you've got to do is log into a Gmail email account. That will allow you to go to File, Make a Copy, and save a copy of this document in your own Google Drive. Once you've done that, you'll be able to edit, type into, or change anything that you'd like on this particular template. Now that you know where to find NGPF's Play the Bean game and you know how to play it, we're confident that you'll be able to make budgeting fun for your child.